Yeah. I was essentially penalized. Penalized. For not doing their job for them. For not filling out paperwork online. Like I said, I know for a fact. There are lots of people that don't have computers wouldn't be able to fill paperwork out online even if they wanted to. But also there are people like me who might be computer literate but are definitely very unfamiliar with trying to do this stuff online. Okay? It's not some easy thing. Which is why I was getting frustrated and Joe's like, why don't you go do this or go through food? I'm like, I'm not, no, I, let me figure it out. I know that I'm supposed to be able to do this here and do the signature here, whatever. I just have to figure it out. Let me do it, Joe. Okay. It's all for nothing. They didn't give a fuck about my record. My dentist made sure to get it to them that same day because they didn't get my release form, which is what I was trying to fill out online. Uh until that morning at 8 o'clock when they opened and they made sure they cared enough to get it to them and I got from them when I called them ahead of time did you get my records oh we 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 we, we did get some email but it looked suspicious so we didn't open it that's so telling but I was penalized for not doing what Joe said he would never do. He would never do it anyway. He's like, I'm not doing, giving my information online. My personal medical info. They can come and I'm not going to do that. Especially nowadays with everything getting hacked and, you know, cyber attacks and whatnot. And it's not even that he doesn't trust their system. He's like, I don't even trust my, he's like, I wouldn't do it. And I was fucking penalized. After being assured, after me saying. Because when she said to me, and when when they fit me in earlier, and don't worry about doing the paperwork, um, we can print it out for you. I repeatedly, more than once said, is there going to be enough time? And they never once said, we don't know if there'll be enough time. Even Joe thought that they had a, that when I was concerned, because Joe knows how I get, knows how I get. He's like, Laura, they allowed for enough time to do that. They, they, they factor that in. No, they don't. They don't factor any fucking shit in. They're making all this extra money, and they get the, they, but they squish everything into the same amount of time as if I was just doing a cleaning. I found that out. Because I asked. So fuck you. And that, that everything was rushed. And I had questions and I had concerns. And the doctor comes in. I don't even think she said, you know, nice to meet you. As a matter of fact, I know she didn't. I'm a new patient. You don't even have the courtesy to say, I'm Dr. So-and-so, nice to meet you. In fact, probably the first words out of her mouth because she knew that I was upset. And no explanation. Blaming me. Without even saying it. We're not going to be able to do your cleaning today. Go fuck yourself up the ass, bitch. You get these great reviews online that Joe says they might have made have written themselves or something. Or, I don't know, removed the bad reviews. I, forget. I don't know if I, I, I might have, if it's on their own site. Joe doesn't trust shit. Because the asshole who did his driveway had great reviews and that was on a site that supposedly can't be fixed. Angie's left, so can't trust shit. Because he was a fucking mafia. He actually borderline threatened Joe. Okay. When Joe had the nerve to get a fucking attorney that wound up working out not at all because like I said, who knows? Who knows? I'm a new patient. Again, I don't expect the red carpet treatment. I expect courtesy. I expect from the actual doctor an explanation. There was no explanation. 
we're not going to have time to do your cleaning today. And I didn't argue because I was just, just like in shock and I knew that and I, I wasn't going to come back. We're not going to talk, there's no explanation. But I wasn't, again, I'm not going to argue because I need to, but I needed to know what was going on with my mouth. I can find another fucking dentist. And if I'm able to, I'll also write a bad review. Not a horrible review. Middle ground. You know? It's, I wouldn't say don't go here or just say if you want to read my story decide for yourself because when you're getting extra money to do extra things you don't squish it into the same amount of time you don't squish it into the same amount of time as you would for a regular fucking cleaning and when it's a new patient you don't squish it into the same amount of time either now, if you fit me in and said to me, you know, we can fit you in, we because I didn't want to wait three and a half weeks to find out what was going on with my mouth, all right? If you got a cancellation, but you have to be up front and say, you know, we, but, but, but that's what tells me that even if I had gotten my normal appointment, they would have given it for the same hour. I don't think it would have been any different. I don't think it would have been any different. I really don't. I don't care if it only takes a few minutes to, to do x-rays or whatnot. In the end, it, it people think it's a few minutes, it's probably longer, but it doesn't matter. The fact is, I'm a new patient, you're getting extra money. You add, and, and you know I have to, you can't penalize somebody for not doing their paperwork online, you you have to you have to allow for that, and you also can't just bring someone into your office at the last fucking minute, on the dot, on the dot. I'm brought into their fucking office. Does the hygienist know that? No, she knows nothing. They can lie and just say I was in the bathroom for too long. She didn't know anything about me. Anything. 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 And yet they call me right on the fucking dot. And I was there early enough to do my paperwork early. And all she, well, people usually get in my chair right on the dot is what she says to me. People usually do their paperwork ahead of time. I won't be going back. I pretended I'd be going back. I liked my hygienist as a person. It doesn't matter. I don't like the whole attitude. I don't like being snapped at. Because you're so fucking paranoid and whatever. I don't like being snapped at. She wasn't like that. She was just the opposite the minute I got into her room. When I was allowed to do what I'm allowed to do in there. But just because I forget going out and intentionally forget I just got bad news. You don't fucking snap at me. You say it nicely. You don't act like I'm committing the crime of the goddamn century. It's already pissed. It's already pissed. Pissed about the whole cleaning thing. And the doctor herself wasn't professional. She wasn't professional and she didn't acknowledge the elephant in the room. It wasn't, I'm sorry, but we're not going to be able to do your cleaning. It was like, it was just more like, you know, it wasn't even apologetic. It was blaming me because I didn't do my fucking, even though she didn't say it, it was, I, they didn't have enough time. We're not going to have time to do your cleaning today. You, you know, whatever, go fuck yourself. I repeatedly worried about you not having enough time to do everything you needed to do. And I just falsely 
assumed that when you're getting all of this extra money for all the extra services I'm doing, you're going to allow more time than you allow for just a simple basic cleaning. I mean, everything was rush, 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 yet you have me in there in the fucking last second, and by the time you got my paperwork out to me and got me situated where I could have been situated all along instead of standing out in your parking lot like an idiot for half an hour. It's a separate part from your stupid waiting room if you're so fucking paranoid. And you couldn't even let me do that to the last fucking second. Like literally on my phone, called me at the time of my appointment, yet the hygienist doesn't know anything when I say in. Like I was called in at the last, at, she doesn't, all she does is smile. We're not going to be able to do your cleaning today. We're not going to be doing, trying to be nice, but we're not going to be able to do, we're not going to have time. I want to be able to do a thorough job. And then in the end, pure fucking chance that, I hadn't left yet, and they wound up having a last-minute cancellation, which saved them money because I took that spot they wouldn't have been able to fill. It was a last-minute thing. I was already still standing out there. Oh, and on top of that, they were already trying to schedule me, the stupid bitch that had just snapped at me when I was in, and trying to let's make you a new clean, uh, uh, um, let's schedule your cleaning now. And they scheduled me for a cleaning. And I got an email for that cleaning, even though we immediately canceled it, because I said, you know, they said to wait for my cleaning until I see what's going on with my mouth and having to have a re-root canal or, the, or worse, the, the, the tooth pulled and an implant that, that of course, it's thousands upon thousands of dollars I can't afford. Well, I just got an email, so she didn't even cancel that appointment. I should not even cancel it and see if they try to try to charge me the stupid $25 cancellation fee for not showing up to an appointment that she didn't cancel, that she made, and I immediately said, no, don't do that, don't make that appointment. Um, but she didn't cancel it. I got an email. I got two emails, one about an appointment soon, and one about one from four months from the appointment I wound up having. But remember, this wasn't an appointment I was responsible for canceling because you, you rescheduled me. This was one that you instantly made before you knew you were going to even have a, that I said, no, don't do that. I will call you and make an appointment. And meanwhile, I wasn't going to. See, I wasn't going to. The more I thought about it. The more I thought about everything combined, I wasn't going to. Wasn't going to. Anyway, I better take Omar out.